Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. Doyle Haw Hawthorne was also the lover of the murder victim, Doug Swallow. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. Hmm, so it was one of those nasty love triangles, I see. He was in the pharmacology department, so he agreed to meet at 2.45 behind the building. Did you now? Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you sh should meet at 2.45? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. And I'm good at that, because my name is right. Mmm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? I apologize to anyone who's into ph pharmacology stuff. Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Oh god, pharmaceuticals. The connection. Why are the connections happening? I'm recording this literally right after I recorded that bit with 999. Anyways, everyone called him the Alchemist of IVU. Oh, Alchemist? Like Full Metal Alchemist? Speaking of which, I'm watching that on Funimation right now. Oh my god! The parallels! It's all happening for a reason! An alchemist, I see. I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, oh, how fascinating. He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. And uh, now he's dead. Hooray. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for some more details? About timing of the meeting, about pharmaceutical department. The Java Java Department. Um, timing of the meeting. So you're absolutely certain that you met at 2.45? Yeah, pretty sure. That's the time class ends. But they're always doing experiments, so it doesn't matter much. Experiments? Yeah, those pharmacology guys are always in the lab whipping up something. Well, it looks like he's right about the time anyway. Witness, let's go on with your testimony. We talked for a bit, and then at around three, we split up. Uh, okay, does the other thing give us anything? Let's see. Yeah, was it? Uh, yeah, we were both there. Hmm, you said the victim was poop? Yes, I did say he was poop. I love my good poop. It's the favorite poop. I got here made a blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, where about the next thing? Uh, sure, how about this? I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run high-voltage electricity. Ooh, that's like the murder method, right? Maybe? That's right! And they sure look dangerous! They use non-standard voltages, so there are high-voltage cables everywhere. High-voltage cables. Yeah, there were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high-voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. Talked a bit, and then around three, we split up. Okay, what happened after that? So, what was it you were talking about? Oh yeah, that's important too. You know... <laughs> Maybe we should hang out again sometime. Hang out again sometime? I wish that were true. Then later when I went back, if I'm lying there, why did you go back? Did you say you went back? Um, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Uh, well, that's right, I was. Um... Right? Answer the question! Stop acting like a pussy and grow some balls! Then why, Mr. Ray? Why did you go back there? Um... I thought maybe we could make up. Yeah. Is that for reals? Ellipses everywhere! Achoo! Cough of lyingness. Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. Not even Phoenix. <laughs> I've been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days. 
It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. Guess I shouldn't sleep with the window open this early in spring, huh? I suppose common sense is not always common. So, did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, I always took one after meals. So I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. Hmm, I see. So people close to you could be involved. Lost that bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. On the day of the incident? What did you do for lunch? Huh? What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Hmm, that may make her suspicious of possibly taking it. Uh, it's possible. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest! Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious! <laughs> yes! Youch! Why did you punch me in the jaw? It's because of her sundariness, again, and her lack of having a boyfriend, correct? This is. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Let me be frank, Sot. Your testimony cannot be trusted. It stinks. It reeks of diarrhea. Oh, what do you mean? He 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 he. Time to blast your credibility from the court. Record. I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Hmm. However, there's one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor. How the murder was carried out, of course. Of course. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet, correct? Well, that is, I... You're correct, Your Honor. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? I think it's pretty obvious. You were getting on to something earlier, remember? Was just... If I could somehow establish how it was done... Maybe we could still come with this mess smelling like a rose. Ah, uh, sure. Your Honor! Let me go ahead and check out the picture again. Okay, yeah. Yes, Miss Faye? Y yes, Miss Faye. Ugh. Hey, yes, Miss Faye. Yeah, I was judge is channeling Phoenix now. I believe that if we were to piece everything up and turn now together, we should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. That would be most convenient and impressive. Thank you. Do that, please. I don't like doing things on my own. <laughs> Quite the brash statement coming from our rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court, yes? An attorney must be able to sustain their arguments with evidence. Evidence? No. Hm, of course I know that. Actually, i totally forgotten about that. This isn't... Now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you got. And I'm not talking about your drugs. Aw, that could have been so good. Could have been the best evidence. I have boobs! I win! This is... Um... Crime Portal 1. As for the cause of death... I'd say this picture captures it quite well. What? But there's nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Not a regular murder weapon, but it is definitely there. Hmm, I'm afraid that events is gonna have to explain this in a bit more detail. Detail. Miss Faye, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? The thing that actually kills people. It would be right there. Right, right, right there. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's, that's, what is that? A severed electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we've heard. The machines the pharmacology students use in their experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high-voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then, the high-voltage cable. 
Yes, the high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm, that certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been a high voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what that really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was the defendant, Phoenix Wright, pussy attorney. That's you. Ah, oh, bless you. I don't get it. You cough and you get blessed? Doesn't make sense to me. Hmm, that much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Oh crap, proof. My greatest enemy. Irrefutable proof that Mr. That will establish that Mr. Establish that Will Wright was the murderer. You do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. Fingerprints? You mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Ah, uh, you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area on the victim's jacket. The palm print is the defendant's very own hand. What? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. <laughs> Intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim toward the separate electrical cable. Order, order, order! That's enough! What oops. I think we conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross-examination. Stake off walking us, we're done. Not yet, Grossberg. You always give up too easily. My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. I knew that boy was guilty the first time I saw him. Oh, what the frick, Grossberg? Are you just trying to... You're either trying to encourage me, or you're kind of stupid. No, you're wrong. Mr. Wright's innocent. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Your Honor! At this time, I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Um, of course it's Mia. She has a voice clip. Do you have something further to add, Miss Faye? Also, it would have been cool if this, these voice clips were in the, the first game. I mean, I don't think she ever, I'm not sure if she ever said hold it or take that, but I know she said objection once, I think. Um, and that would have been cool. Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? Gasp! You still haven't told us the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. I can handle the truth. Let my breasts handle the truth! You don't say something now. The judge is gonna hand down his verdict. Pointy finger, go! Uh, but I... I can't. I just can't say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. Miss Faye, serious face. No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you and I'll represent you to the very end. Gasp! You've already established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. Cough, cough! I'd like to cough in your face, sir! I mean, I'd like to say something! Wait a minute! Mr. Wright. Hi, I'll tell you what really happened. Oh shit, Payne's objecting. Hold the f presses. What I've already told you, Mr. Wright, there's no need for further. Cough! Right in your face! Ugh, cold! Oh, I did it. I admit it, I pushed him! It's my fault. My fault that Doug Swallow's dead! Um, what? That's not what I wanted to hear. That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your beeswax! I'm telling you, for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's gonna be bad news. You're lying! 
Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that. Shove! Phoenix, shove! Brutality. Gasp? What you just said? Was that the truth? Yes, uh, I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Because as far as you're aware, you are. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. Please. Please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear, I swear I'll tell the whole truth. I'll be okay, won't I, Miss Faye? I, I believe in you. Oh God, pressure. Oh, um, thank you. Still can't believe it. You really did push the victim. Ugh, feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the... Well, I'm shake! Oh, God. Back before it was a big thing. When this game came out, that is. I don't even really get what that is, and why that randomly became a big thing. Don't tell me, please. I don't want to know. When I pushed the victim... That guy, he was talking bad about Dolly. Shove! I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back, but he was just laying there, dead. Interesting. Wow, the explanation is really quite simple. Alright, common question of the day. What is your favorite console? Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go with handheld console for now because this is a handheld game. So yeah, go ahead and tell me, what's your favorite handheld console? Mine currently, it'd probably be the Nintendo DS, um, the regular one, not the 3DS. It's got a greater lineup of games right now. Um, it has an alarm clock, which the 3DS doesn't have, and that's been actually useful to me, unlike a lot of the random features 3DS has that I don't care about. Um, the 3D feature on the 3DS isn't that great either. Uh, specifically, uh, I guess the XL version. I don't, is there an XL version of the regular DS? I don't know. I have a 3DS XL. Um, I just have a DS Lite, but, uh, and I do play all my DS games on my 3DS now, but as far as, uh, I, I judge a console a lot by its library and not much by its actual, I mean, the hardware is important, but I, I judge it a lot by just its library. And right now, DS is a much better library. Um, so, yeah, let me know what your favorite console is. I mean, if you... I mean, it's possible that 3DS just is your favorite. There have been a lot of um, good games coming out for it, so it's possible. Anyways, explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Master Swallow fell back and touched the electrical cable. He died from the shock, and that, as they say, is that. 